today I am here finally with a new makeup edition of the Then Versus Now series which I haven't done a Then Versus Now video in quite some time so yeah let's do this. I've done a few other installments of the Then Versus Now series. The first one, the very first one was a makeup one and then I did a music one and an outfit one and I think that's it that I've done for then versus now there might have been another one um and then I kind of sorted then a then versus now kind of makeup tutorial a few months ago as well but it was more so like taking a makeup look that I did once before revamped it and everything so yeah I kind of sort of did that so I don't know if you would consider that to be a then versus now kind of look but anyways, we're gonna be doing a Then vs. Now makeup look. How I did the original Then vs. Now makeup look was that I did one side of my face doing a makeup look how I did when I first started doing makeup. And then I did the other side of my face the way that I would do that same look but in present day. So yeah, so the look that we are going to be doing today I think was the very first makeup tutorial that I posted on my YouTube channel in 2013? Yeah, I think it was 2013. And it was a horrible, horrible, horrible look. And I still have that tutorial up on my channel so I'm actually am going to like watch that video and everything. I'm not gonna react to it, kind of, sort of. Well, I guess you could say I'm gonna react to it, so I should probably get some headphones in so that way the audio won't be weird and everything because I don't have an external mic, so yeah, I can't be fancy like that, like all these other YouTubers are. You're actually gonna be getting a two-in-one video today, so I'm gonna be reacting to this tutorial real quick so that way I can know what the hell it is that I did with this look because I don't remember because this was like four years ago. All that I know is the products that I used which I actually still have two of those products. They're discontinued and they're old and need to be thrown away. I'm sorry about that but I held on to them for these purposes though. For and then versus now series. Oh, also I will be doing a reaction to old videos video sometime in the future. Don't know when exactly just yet, but it is gonna be happening. So there'll be a proper one of these soon. And I'll link this video down in the description box below and in the eye in this corner. I think it's this corner or is it this one? I don't know, it's in one of the corners. I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> Anyways, this tutorial is called Simple androgynous goth makeup tutorial. Wow. Oh lord. Okay, Edge Lord. Hey guys, it's me, and today I know I look completely different. This is and you're one looking of the, in the viewfinder. Look it's very simple, very dark. A lot of black. Yeah, it's very simple. Just, okay, I gotta pause it right there. Just, oh lord. I look horrible. <laughs> I look so horrible. And I keep looking in the viewfinder. My hair looks atrocious. Oh god. One, I had a head full of hair back then, so I faked this side cut that I'm wearing in this video. And also I had an ombre back then that I completely fried to shit. I look like a freaking fetus because I don't have any facial hair. Quick disclaimer, I am not a professional makeup type person at all. Clearly. I, just I am sorry. It's just how Why am I, I talking this way? About doing it. Oh yeah, and for my hair, I did, I faked an undercut again. Oh god, the I'm sideburns. Curly, yeah, you can use foundation as an eyeshadow primer, but don't use a dewy foundation like this one here when you have oily eyelids, because it'll break down. And also, I am using way too much product. Way too much product. God, I, I'm just... 
tagging that shit on, okay. God, this is horrible. What? I, I, Patrick, you did not blend that eyeshadow out. Uh, yeah, go out of frame. That's wonderful. God, my skin is so dry back then, too. Oh, God. I'm just caking that shit on. I am not looking forward to recreating this makeup look at all. I will say this, though. The technique that I used to fake the side cut is very, very solid technique. So if you actually want to learn how to fake a side cut, I mean, I don't have to do that now because, I mean, yeah. So if you actually want to learn how to fake a side cut, I will try to find the tutorial that I did on it and link it somewhere. I think I'm gonna, like, like, bleep out the music, though, for this, because I know for a fact that this will give me a copyright strike. I was really into, like, Cycle 9 back then. I still really enjoyed them, but I was obsessed with them back then, and also, I didn't give a shit about copyright infringements back then, so. Yeah, and I am just caking this shit on. Yeah, don't forget your neck, especially when your foundation does not match you at all. I find it so funny that I'm setting my face with a blending brush. But then again, I only have but like these three like double-sided makeup brushes back then. And I hated having a dewy finish back then, so I had to make sure that I was like super matte back then. Yep. I pulled out the black lips using black eyeliner back then. God, I was such a freaking edgelord back then. I don't pose like that at all anymore. That was an experience. So now I know what I did to create that makeup look. So now let's actually do it. So like I mentioned earlier, this side of my face is gonna be how I did my makeup back then, sadly. But this side is gonna be how I would do that makeup look today. So first thing I want to go ahead and mention though is the face products that I'm using. These two guys right here, these are discontinued. You can't find them anymore. They're super duper old and they're probably not safe to use anyways now because of how old they are. I mean the powder I could probably get away with using but especially this guy here and like I remember using um, the shade that actually matches me a little bit better last year and it used to match me very well, but because it's so old, like the one that actually matches me a lot better, it oxidizes almost instantly. So I'm really worried about how this one's gonna react because this one's actually darker. This one is 115 Ivory, I think is the color name for this one. I'm not sure. It doesn't have the color name on this bottle. Um, but I know the other one that I have is in 110 Porcelain. So, actually, let me go ahead and show you guys side-by-side -side comparison between the two. Because the shade difference between these two is, like, intense. Like, this one leans a bit more yellow and neutral, whereas this one is way more pink. But it's also much darker. And since I no longer have that eyeshadow, because I think I'm allergic to Maybelline eyeshadows, because that eyeshadow always irritated my eyes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this shade right here. This guy right here, it's this matte black eyeshadow with like this blue glitter in it. And this is out of my old e.l.f. Geometric 150 palette. They don't make this particular palette anymore, but I think they still make their 144 palettes, which is pretty much the same exact thing. Very similar to that Maybelline shadow. I'm gonna use it on this eye, but I'm gonna use completely different shadows on this one here. And um, I'll get to that stuff in just a bit. And I'm also gonna use a different um, pencil liner than I used back then, because obviously I don't use that pencil liner anymore because it was super duper old. And also I ran out of it because I used it so much because I used it to line my water lines. And I used it to be lipstick as well. Yeah, I was that person. What I'm gonna be doing is I actually have two different eyeliners here that I'll be using, one on my eyes and one on my lips. The one I'm gonna be using on my eyes is this one here. This is the Wet n Wild, um, let's see, just cold crayon and baby's got black. For my lips, I'm gonna be using the Hard Candy Take Me Out liner 
and I think this is just black as well. I don't think it has an actual name for the color. I'm going to use this guy on my lips. So to apply the foundation, I'm just going to use this brush here. This is the Shani F11 brush. It's just like a pretty dense like paddle brush here. Um, it's got like a similar like vibe to this guy here. This guy's just a bit more fluffy. It's not as dense. Okay, here it goes. Here we go. Oh god. Oh, well, surprisingly enough, I think this foundation is actually going on kind of matte, I think. Either that or I'm just tripping balls right now. Oh, I should probably zoom you guys in a little bit. Oh no, it's still pretty dewy. It's not super dewy, but it's still dewy. And the thing, I used to think that this was like my color, like my foundation shade. God, I'm dreading this so much. I will say this though, this eyeshadow actually performs a lot better than that Maybelline eyeshadow. God, but I, I feel so horrible for applying my makeup like this. This is my life right now. You gotta take some. God, I, I look as if like I'm a rejected version of Skeletor right now. Do you not have under eye circles? Well, here's the perfect excuse to actually have them. Be horrible with makeup and just blend black eyeshadow down there. You'll have dark circles then. Now it's time for eyeliner. So, this part I'm not too worried about. I thought this was acceptable. I thought this was good. I wasn't about looking good back then, so we're not gonna worry about looking good today. Now comes the part that I have been dreading the most. That is caking this foundation onto my face. We are so doing it. See, I just painted shit onto my face. I know I'm blending it around the edges right now, but that's just simply because the perfectionist is coming out inside of me and I also don't want to get like powder in my foundation and make this look even more terrible. And you see back then I didn't have facial hair. So it's going to look even worse. I don't know how orange I look on camera as right now I don't look that bad, but I probably, yeah, I look horrible on camera. <laughs> also. As you guys probably have noticed, I'm not wearing primer. Because primer, well, face primer, I should say, wasn't a thing for me back then. God, I look so slimy right now. This foundation is dark as hell. Now we gotta set it and forget it. I can't take myself seriously doing this bullshit right now. This is... I know, like, in the video, I just simply, like, swipe the powder on, but I'm gonna tap it. Just so I keep my coverage because I want to continue to look as terrifying as possible. Now it's time to do the lips. I will say this though, back then I was all about having a super defined cupid's bow. And I know I have struggled with getting that to this day. I think the only good thing that's happening as of right now in this moment is the fact that I have Coachella Woodstock on my mind by Lana Del Rey stuck in my head. That is the only positive thing that is happening to me right now. Here's side number one. So let's do side number two and actually make this shit look good. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do for this eye is I'm gonna prime it. And I'm just going to use this e.l.f. eyelid primer. I don't think they make this specific one anymore, but I do know that they still have e.l.f. eyelid primers. The name of the color is sheer, but I don't know the actual name of the uh, primer itself. And I'm just going to blend this in. And I like using a shader brush to blend out eyeshadow primers just simply because you get a little bit more coverage, it goes a lot farther, and it brightens the eyes 
way more. We go into this Makeup Revolution palette or Ocean palette now. The lightest nude shade in this palette and I'm just gonna run it all over the primer. This is just gonna one, set the primer in place and it's also gonna make eyeshadows that lay down blend a lot nicer. But let's see, that lightest shade right there, that's the one. I have to hold this palette weird because um, it broke right there. But before I do any eyeshadows, I'm gonna fill in my brows, or well, my brow. I'm just gonna use the NYX Taupe Blush. And I personally like to start out on my tail first when filling in my brows, and then work my way into the body of my brow, just simply because I don't need that much help in the body. I just mainly need help in the tail because there's a little bit more sparseness in the tail and also it helps to define the shape a little bit better. I think I'm going to start out with this top shade over here, this one here, my pinky's pointing to, and I'm just going to pop this into the crease. You know what, this eyeshadow would actually make a good brow color for me, but I think it's just a little too gray. The same brush here, I'm going to pick up this guy here. A bit more of like a neutral gray, so it's not gonna be super cool toned like the gray that's right above it, because the gray that's right above this one is very blue toned. This one is a bit more neutral, has a bit more brown to it. And already you can see the difference between these sides as well right now. Lastly, I'm gonna pick up this black shade here and I'm just gonna take it on this brush here. This is a Royal and Lanical Eye Shader brush. It's very similar to, I think it's the Base Shadow Brush by Real Techniques. It's very similar to it. It's just a little bit more fluffy. And the cool thing about this brush is that it blends as it packs. So you now I'm gonna take this brush again. This is by Royal Lanical as well. And I'm gonna pick up that same like pale nude shade. And I'm just gonna blend out these edges a little bit. Try to diffuse them a little bit, make it look a lot softer. So I'm gonna take that same Baby's Got Black pencil. I'm gonna take that top shade that first shade that I put into my crease, that taupey brown, and I'm just going to tap off some of the excess because I picked up a lot. And I'm first going to start out by running this long bottom lid. This is just going to really like help connect the look because like if I would have like did like I started out doing, just take the black and run it down through there, it won't have nearly as much dimension. Now I'm going to take this brush here, this is a Shani E21. And I'm gonna pick up that second shadow that we use, that gray. I'm not the biggest fan of just black eyeshadow anymore, so I'm more of a neutrals kind of person. I'm turning into a typical beauty vlogger now. I don't think you like them apples, kids. I'm gonna take that pale nude shade again and I'm just gonna run this along the bottom here just to blend everything out a little bit. Let's see, I think I'm gonna put some more darkness in this outer corner here because, I don't know, it just seems as if it's lacking just a little bit in that corner. Alrighty, so I think now all I need to do is pop on some mascara and then I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. I kinda like it where it's at right now. So I'll think about it in just a little bit if I wanna do an inner corner highlight or not. But for right now, we're done with the eyes and I'm happy about that. <laughs> it's, it's like, we're almost done with this look. I'm sick and tired of looking at my face, looking all crazy. All right, so now we're gonna move on to foundation. So first I'm gonna prime my face using the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. It really helps to make the foundation apply very smoothly. And now, for foundation, I'm going to take this NYX BB Cream in Nude. I'll tell you this, this little sucker comes in handy. 
because when you apply foundation onto your hand, onto the back of your hand, do it that way, your hand winds up absorbing product. So this is metal, so it doesn't absorb any of the product. I'm just gonna like stipple this on. I was swiping it on, but I decided that I do want a little bit more coverage today. So I'm gonna stamp it on. When you stamp it on like this, it gives you a little bit more coverage. If you swipe it, it shears it out a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the spoolie here, comb through my facial hair, and get rid of any foundation that is caught up in it. This is just gonna help make my facial hair look a lot nicer. Wonder if we're gonna have any suicidal skin flakes in this one like we did in the first one. Remember that bit? God, I love that bit. I'm not gonna set my face because I'm still experimenting with this foundation and seeing that if it's the setting powder that causes this guy to oxidize really weird on me or if it's the actual foundation. And also I'm testing out and seeing if like I like not having setting powder on at all. So yeah, but right now we're gonna contour out my jawline and I'm gonna use the Real Techniques contour brush with the NYX blush taupe. This is just like a really subtle thing that I do. It's nothing that drastic. It's the only part of my face that I contour. And I don't even do it that often. I just like doing it sometimes. It just adds like a really soft shadow. So yeah, nothing too crazy or anything. And I'm actually gonna use two different highlighters today because I ran out of setting spray so I can't get like a really nice sheen because this highlighting palette, it's good, but they don't pack a huge punch to them when it comes to highlighting. Whereas this highlighter and this palette here, it packs a major wall up. So I'm gonna start out with this guy here. This is um, the highlight shade from the City Color Contour Effects palette. I don't know if this palette is still around. It's a really intense highlighter. So I'm only gonna take about a small amount of it. Cause it's like, because it's so intense and it's so white, it winds up leaving like a really bizarre like cast on my skin that I am not a fan of. So I'm just gonna take like a small amount of it and just apply it on the top of my cheekbones here. Cause this is where I like most of my highlighty action to happen at is the top of my cheekbones. Now I'm gonna take the pink tone highlighter shade, this one here from the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette in Catwalk Pink. I'm just gonna pop this on top of it. This is gonna tone down the whiteness of it and make it a bit more pink tone, which is what I prefer in a highlighter. I prefer pink tone highlighters on my skin tone. They just look a lot nicer on me. The top of my brow, the center of my forehead, bridge of my nose just a little bit and the tip just a little bit. And top of my chin. I just a little bit more of this to the top of my cheeks. I don't like it when it's like white because it just looks super frosty and unnatural. Says the kid who has half black lipstick on right now. Okay. All right, so now it's time for the lips. And for this, we're gonna be using the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Witches. Only issue that I have with liquid lipsticks is the fact that they outline the fact that my lips are very, very weirdly shaped. So this is the end result. And it's just like, this side is just so orange and so flat. Like, I think it's oxidized a decent amount since I put it on. Because, I mean, look at this. That is a big color change and difference right there. And then over here, I don't think it's the perfect match for me, but it's still a really close match for me because I am very fair and I'm also very, very pink toned. So it is rather tricky to find a foundation shade that works really good for me and actually matches my skin color because my face is a lot pinker than my neck is. So it makes it really tricky for me to find a perfect foundation shade. This is why I love highlighter. It just makes a look look so good. It pulls a look together so much. It just does it so well. All right, so here's a close up of everything. It's gonna look a little bit darker because I use natural lighting. 
yeah, here's the good side. And if you see any lines in this lip here, like around the top of the lip line, like if it looks a little weird, it's not the lipstick, it's my facial hair growing over my lip. And I know I didn't apply the liquid lipstick as good, it's just simply because it's so hard for me to like get this area looking nice and even because my lips curl inward so much that it winds up closing my lip off at a weird angle. So trying to get that nice and even is always a struggle, especially when you're working with a super dark lip color like this. Here we have the bad side. First of all, there's no definition in the eyebrow. The eyeshadow creased horribly already. And it's probably only been on but for maybe, I don't know, maybe close to an hour. And it's creased so badly. Foundation looks to have oxidized a lot. It is creased so badly in my forehead. I have all this foundation in my beard and the lip is just so patchy and uneven and just no and my face looks so flat it looks so flat i know i use the same eyeliner so the eyeliner pretty much looks the same on each side i will also say this mascara makes a big difference as well so like it's subtle things like just like filling in your brows just a little bit like a subtle amount just a mascara and highlighter can make your foundation look so much better. This side's a no, this side's a go. Yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this Then vs. Now series. There's gonna be at least one more. I don't know if there will be another one after that though. Just simply because my makeup skills like really improved shortly after I got better stuff. So I don't think there'll be another one. Like, if there are, like, other, like, then versus now, it's going to be, like, how I did that um, festival look that I did several months ago. I think I did that one back in February or March, somewhere in there. It'll probably be something like that where I take a look that I did a long time ago and revamp it and redo it and that sort of thing so I might do something like that but I won't do like an actual like then versus now on it. Anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this then versus now series. I think the next one that I'll do will be another music one or should I do another outfit one? What should I do? Which one would you guys want to see first? An outfit or a music one? Let me know in the comments below because I want to continue the series and I want to make it live for as long as I can possibly let it live. So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me squirm and complain about how horrible my makeup skills and makeup tastes back in the day were and go on and rave about how nice my makeup looks these days. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new here to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe because that'll help me out a lot. And also, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that'll help me out a lot. All my links are down in the description box below. And until I see you guys in my next video, whatever the hell that may be. Good night.